Hello everybody, welcome to the Digital Marketing Minute where I share simple tips on how you can increase your leads and sales and grow your business. In this video, I want to share with you three tips that will help you increase your sales and leads in the next 30 days. So if you're a business owner or if you're in sales and marketing, you want to pay special attention to these simple tips that I'm about to share with you. My name is Thomas Bibi Workies and I'm with EBIS Universe, a digital marketing firm, and we help businesses increase their sales and leads from the internet. So these three tips that I'm about to share with you, if you will implement them, you could see a jump in leads and sales in the next 30 days. But before I share the tips with you, would you go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel so that the next time I release a video with a tip, you will be the first to get notified. And also, I would love to know what is your best tip to generate leads and sales for your business? What is working for you today? Whatever is the best tip that's working for you today, go ahead and comment about that. Okay, so let's get started with the first step. The first step is to manage your connections. What do I mean by a connection? A connection is anyone you you could potentially do business with in the future. They may not be a customer today. They they may be somebody you met at a business event. They may be a prospect. I mean, they might have called in to get a quote and that was it. And then you never heard from them. So they could be a past customer. They could be your current customers. Or, or they could be, you know, people that you at some point did business with and that was it. And then they never gave you any business. So these are your connections and what you want to do with these connections is you want to have a way to manage these connections so the way what do i mean by manage the connections you want to have a way of organizing the connections and then staying in touch with them and interacting and on all your interactions you should be able to see what you did with them things like that and you and you should have be able to communicate with them so how do you do that what you need is a CRM tool. There are several CRM tools out there. CRM is nothing but customer relations management. So a CRM tool is that that which will help you stay in touch with these people. There's several of the CRM tools out there. The big one obviously is Salesforce. Then there is other ones like Zoho, Pipedrive, Sugar CRM. Uh, there is HubSpot. You want to pick one where you can interact with your customers. You can put them into lists, segregate them, and then you want to stay in touch with your customers. So the CRM tool is going to allow you to manage your connections. And how do you stay in touch with them? You're not always sending them emails saying, hey, buy from me. I've got the best product in the world. No, that's not the way to stay in touch with them. You want to send them tips about three tips on how to do something. You know, something that's a value for your prospects and your connections. That's what you want to do. So the first tip is to manage your connections. The second tip is to use your website to advantage. When someone comes to your website, are there call to actions? Are there something for the visitors to do? You know, this is something most people overlook. Several of the websites that are, are really well done. They pay a lot of money to get a website done and then they launch a great website with all the bells and whistles. And what you need to understand is that it's not about having all the bells and whistles on your website. The website is really there for only one and only one thing and that is to generate leads and sales for your business. So if it's not doing that, it could be that the call to actions are not there or if it's not done right. So the second tip is to have clear call to actions on your website. When people land on your website, what do you want them to do? You basically have to handhold them and take them down a path. So that's really what, what a call to action should do. You know, is it, it could be like schedule a consultation, get a free estimate, get a free quote, get a free strategy session, download a free recipe or our schedule appointment. So that's a call to action. You need to have your phone numbers somewhere that's clickable because a lot of people are coming from mobile phones and they would just love to click and call you. And these are the call to actions that need to be there. And you know what? The call to actions are not just for your homepage. It should be on every page of your website. In other words, people should be able to access your call to action 
from every page of your website, not just your home page. So every page of your website. So that is the second tip to use your website to advantage to generate leads by having clear call to actions on your website. The third tip is to give something away for free on your website. Or in other words, think of the word free. You want to give something away for free when people land on your website, your blog, your social media. It could be a free strategy session. It could be uh, downloading free beauty tips. It could be a free recipe. It could be download a free white paper, things like that. It should be offered in exchange for their information. In other words, when they give you their name and email and they hit submit, that information should be easily accessible to them. And when they hit submit, what happens to that information that which they uh, entered into those boxes, that goes straight to your CRM system, the tip number one that we talked about, automatically. So that what happens is your list, your prospect list keeps growing and growing. So really tip number three is to just think of the word free and give something away for free on your website. So let me quickly recap the three tips that I shared with you today. Tip number one is to manage your connections. Manage your connections using a CRM system. Uh, so that way you can stay in touch with your connections. Tip number two is to have clear call to actions when people land on your website. And that way, you know, they could take action and get into that list of yours. Tip number three is to think of the word free give something away for free when they land on your website. So those are the three tips that I believe if you will implement them, you will see an uptick in your leads and sales in the next 30 days. I hope these tips have helped you. Would you please share this video with somebody you think might benefit from these tips? And if you're watching on YouTube, like I said before, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And also don't forget to put in the comments your best tip that you're using today to generate leads and sales for your business. What is the best tip that's working for you that's generating leads and sales for your business? At the same time, I also want to know that that tip that you use that never worked for you. Go ahead and put any question that you have in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.